Have you ever secretly wondered, is it really possible to make my penis bigger safely? Why does my urine sometimes spray in two directions like a broken garden hose? Or why do I lose my erection as soon as I start overthinking? If you have, you're not alone. These are some of the most common and least talked about questions I hear from men every week. I'm Dr. Lily Morgan, a urologist specializing in men's health for the past six years, and today I want to tackle these questions head on. Because let's be honest, the internet is full of half-truths, myths, and marketing gimmicks designed to make you feel insecure. And my job is to cut through all of that with real science, real clarity, and zero judgment. So in this video, we'll explore why psychogenic erectile dysfunction, losing your erection because of overthinking, is so common in younger men and how to reverse it. Whether porn stars are naturally that big or if there's more going on behind the scenes. And why your urine sometimes sprays or splits, plus when to relax and when to get it checked. By the end, you'll have not just answers, but a clear action plan for your own health, confidence, and peace of mind. Before we dive in, let me ask, where are you watching from? Drop it in the comments. I love seeing men from all over the world building this community. And while you're here, hit like and subscribe because every week we talk openly and honestly about men's health, without shame, without gimmicks, and with your quality of life at the center. There are three big myths I want to bust right away. Myth number one, if you lose your erection during sex, you're broken. Truth. Most of the time, it's not your body failing. It's anxiety creating a mental block. And yes, it's reversible. Myth number two, porn stars are proof that your size isn't enough. Truth. What you see on camera is a combination of natural outliers, camera tricks, and sometimes medical aids. It's entertainment, not reality. Myth number three, a split or spraying urine stream always means something seriously wrong. Truth. In many cases, it's something temporary and harmless, but sometimes it's a sign your prostate or urethra needs attention. So instead of shame or worry, let's replace these myths with understanding. Because clarity is the first step toward confidence. For those who are new here, I'm Dr. Lily Morgan, and for the past six years, I've worked exclusively in men's health and urology. That means I've had thousands of conversations with men who've sat across from me, frustrated or embarrassed to even say these questions out loud. And do you know what I tell them? You are not alone. You are not abnormal. And almost every concern you have, from size to stamina to stream, has a real biological explanation and often a solution. So let's break this down into the three most common questions men ask me and the answers that will not only give you clarity, but also practical steps you can start using today. Question number one, why do I lose my erection when I start overthinking? This is one of the most frequent questions I hear from men in their 20s, 30s, and even 40s. Biological explanation. Erections depend on a balance between your brain, your nerves, your blood vessels, and your hormones. When you're relaxed and aroused, your brain sends signals that tell the blood vessels in your penis to open up, filling with blood and creating firmness. But when you're anxious, analyzing every sensation, worrying about what if, your brain shifts into stress mode. Stress hormones like adrenaline tighten blood vessels, block the flow, and interrupt those signals. Emotional impact. The first time it happens, it feels shocking. The second time, you start dreading it. Soon, the fear of losing your erection becomes the cause of losing your erection. It's a vicious cycle that can steal confidence, intimacy, and peace of mind. Practical solution. First, rule out medical causes. Even in men under 40, about one in eight cases of ED are linked to underlying conditions like early cardiovascular disease. Because the arteries in your penis are smaller than those in your heart, erection issues can sometimes be the first warning sign of deeper health concerns. So always get checked. Second, if your doctor rules out medical problems, focus on breaking the anxiety cycle. That might mean working with a therapist who specializes in sexual performance. It might mean temporarily shifting your focus away from penetration and toward touch, intimacy, and sensation without pressure. 
And in some cases, your doctor may prescribe a low-dose erectile medication like tadalafil. These don't create arousal, but they can make it easier to maintain an erection while you rebuild confidence, breaking the cycle of stress and failure. So yes, psychogenic ED is real, but it's also highly reversible. The key is addressing both the physical and psychological sides together. Question number two, are porn stars naturally that big? Let's talk about size, the elephant in the room. Biological reality, the global average erect penis length is about 5.4 inches. Roughly 99.7% of men fall under 7.2 inches. That means what you see in adult films represents a tiny fraction of men, and that's before camera tricks are added. Industry truth, adult entertainment selects men who already have above average size. On top of that, directors use angles, lighting, and even vacuum pumps right before filming to exaggerate appearance. Some performers may also use fillers for girth, traction devices for small gains, or medications and injections to maintain erections during long shoots. A few have implants, not for size, but for erectile dysfunction. Emotional impact. Comparing yourself to porn stars is like comparing your weekend jog to an Olympic sprinter on steroids. It's not real life, and it's not a fair measuring stick for your self-worth. Practical takeaway. Real intimacy isn't measured in inches. It's measured in connection, confidence, and communication. And science shows most partners care far more about presence and passion than about size. So next time you catch yourself making that comparison, remember, porn is performance, not reality. Question number three, why does my urine sometimes spray or split? This one surprises men because it feels so random, and but there are clear reasons. Biological explanation. Think of your urethra like a hose. If the opening is clear, urine flows in one direction. But if something temporarily blocks or narrows it, like dried semen after ejaculation, inflammation, or an enlarged prostate pressing on the tube, the stream can split, spray, or change direction. Emotional impact, it's embarrassing. You start feeling like you can't control something as basic as urination, and that can affect dignity and confidence. Practical solution, if it happens occasionally after sex, it's usually just leftover fluid in the urethra and nothing to worry about. If it happens frequently, especially with a weak stream, straining or stopping and starting mid-flow, it could point to benign prostatic hyperplasia, B, PH, or more rarely, a urethral stricture. Both are treatable, but they require a urologist's evaluation. A simple short-term strategy, try sitting to urinate. It may sound unusual, but in many countries it's common, and it can help control the direction and reduce mess. So yes, spraying or splitting is often harmless, but don't ignore it if it's persistent. Your body may be signaling a deeper issue. So what should you do with all of this? If you're losing erections from overthinking, see your doctor to rule out medical causes, then focus on rebuilding confidence through therapy, intimacy exercises, and if needed, short-term medical support. If you're comparing yourself to porn stars, stop using entertainment as a benchmark. Remember the reality of averages and focus instead on connection and confidence. If your urine stream is splitting or spraying, don't panic if it's occasional, but do see a urologist if it's frequent or paired with other urinary symptoms. And for men over 50 especially, supporting your prostate health can make a huge difference. That's why I recommend a science-backed supplement that combines saw palmetto, pygium, green tea, cat's claw, raspberry, and soursop, all shown to help reduce inflammation and support healthy urinary flow. You'll find the link in the description if you'd like to try it. Let me remind you of something important. Struggling with erections, worrying about size, or noticing changes in your stream does not make you less of a man. It makes you human. Your body changes, your mind plays tricks, and sometimes your health needs a little extra attention. That doesn't mean you've failed. It means you're alive, evolving, and capable of adapting. The men who struggle the most are the ones who stay silent bury their questions, and never seek answers. You're already a step ahead, simply by being here, listening, and learning. So here's what I want you to take away today. Erections that falter under pressure are common and reversible. Porn is entertainment, not a blueprint for real life. 
A split urine stream is often harmless, but always worth checking if persistent. Your health is not about shame, it's about understanding. And with the right knowledge and small daily actions, you can reclaim your confidence, your comfort, and your vitality at any age. If this video gave you clarity, do two things. Hit the like button and subscribe for more fact-based men's health advice. Share this video with someone who might need to hear it but is too embarrassed to ask. And in the comments below, let me know. What's one healthy habit you're starting this week to support your body? I'm Dr. Lily Morgan. Remember, your health is your responsibility, but it's also your power. Take care of yourself because you are absolutely worth it. I'll see you in the next video.